Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to my Rotocraft tutorial on ore processing. Uh, first I'm going to show you the grinder and then I'm going to show you the extractor. After that I'll show you two methods of easily powering the two machines. Uh, so let's first get into the grinder. If you right click on the grinder here, you get a uh, go with the lubricant on one side. Uh, have a slot for buckets if you want to collect the lubricant out of the machine. An input and an output. You can put uh, canola seeds in here. Uh, so let's just get some canola seeds. Canola seeds, yep. And you can just put them in there. And it will grind it very slowly. Uh, this is on its minimum power, so it's very slow when, uh, on its minimum power. And the lubricant can be extracted out the side with a lubricant pipe and stored into whatever tank you want. Uh, the other thing about this uh, grinder is you can put ore in here. Uh, you can put stone in there, so stone will go into cobblestone, and you can go cobblestone into sand. But uh, the main feature of the grinder is that if you put a, a piece of ore in here, it will grind up into uh, three times output, as you can see here. So it grinds ores into three times the output and it can grind canola into lubricant, which is necessary for uh, gearboxes. It has a power requirement of 4096 watts, and it has a Newton meter uh, required of um, 128 Newton meters, okay? So um, if you have a engine giving out 4096 watts, as long as it puts out 128 Newton meters, it will work. Uh, the rads is, uh, there's no minimum and no maximum for the rads, um, but if you've got a 4096 uh, watt engine and it's running at 128 Newton meters, if you do your maths, uh, the engine's also going to run at 32 to get that power. Okay, so if we just look at this uh, coil down the bottom, we've got 32 rads and it's running at 128 Newton meters, that's outputting at 4096 watts, which is the minimum. Um, like all machines in Radiocraft, if you increase the speed of operation, um, the speed of the machine increases. So we can just right click in here, and as you can see, at 99,000 rads, it's instantaneous. Okay, so let's just uh, knock this down to 8192, something a little bit more feasible. And as you can see, it's got an operation time of 5.95 now. It's a little bit slower, gets the job done. Okay, so that's, uh, actually no, not that's it. The grinder can be fed through a hopper at the top. And if we flick the switch here to make, uh, to make the hopper at the bottom work, um, it will pull items out of here as well. And so you can put this into a chest if you want to. Okay, on to the extractor. <coughs> okay, so the extractor can pull five to seven times output. Um, when it's a normal ore, it'll be five times the output. If it's a rarer never ore, it'll be seven times the output. It won't always be the five or seven times. These are just averages, so occasionally you'll get four, maybe you'll get uh, six when it comes to the ordinary ore. Um, it's got a power requirement of uh, six, 65,536 for all stages. Uh, it has got four stages, each stage with a different power requirement. So if we look at the Rotorcraft handbook, go to the processing machines and then the extractor. Uh, as you can see, each stage has a power requirement, but the max is 65,536 watts. So as long as you've got a, a machine output of that, um, you can always gearbox uh, the torque or the rads up and down to get your required power, newton meters or rads depending on what stage you want to do it. Um, but if you want to have a power source that will do all four stages without switching, you'll need at least 512 newton meters and at least 8192 rads a minute to power all four stages. Uh, this machine also gets you an extra um, output as well, occasionally. So depending on what you put into it, occasionally you'll get an output an extra output I should say. So if we just put the diamond in there, it'll start working. 
Uh, I'm going to change the reds up here so we'll get a little bit more instantaneous work. As you can see, uh, you can instantaneously uh, okay, the little glitch there just got stuck there. Um, okay, so and you can output from the sides with uh, uh, you can either use the pneumatic item pumps from Rotocraft or you can use uh, item ducts from Thermal Expansion. I use them because most people will be familiar. So just right click and it should pull items out the side. Oops, I haven't got anything there, so just put some never diamond orbs in there. And we get the output there. Um, the extractor also does require uh, a water source, which gets pumped in from the sides. It has a tank of 16 buckets. Um, it doesn't require that much water. You can use a aqueous accumulator or uh, any kind of other water pump. Okay, so that's about it for that one. Uh, ways of powering the system. You can use four steam engines uh, with uh, three shaft junctions and two bevel gears to connect the power source, which only does one bevel. Um, okay, so you get 65,536 kilowatts, which is the minimum, the power requirements for all four stages of the extractor, and it's plenty enough power for the grinder. It has 128 newton meters by default, which will do the grinder, as you can see, 128 newton meters there, and it will do it 512, so it will do it uh, faster than normal. Uh, and as for the extractor, if we look at the extractor power requirements, you'll note that stage 1 and stage 4 require 512 newton meters uh, and 256 newton meters. So you're going to need to gearbox uh, upwards to get them. And with the speed for stage 2 and 3, you'll need 2048 rads and 8192 rads. Okay. Um, so if we go over to this machine, well, I've got the core at 512 rads at uh, 128 newton meters, which is the same output as the four steam engines. And I've got a 16 times gearbox here, which is a steel gearbox, a wooden one, a stone one. Uh, cannot handle the power output uh, of torque and speed. But as you can see here, we've got it set in speed mode. It's outputting at 8 newton meters at 8,000 rads or 8,192 rads, which is enough to stage one and, oh, let's see the book again, I can't remember. Oh, wrong one. No. Book, process, extractor. Okay, so at 8,000, it's it can do stage two and three. Okay, and if we use the screwdriver and shift click to turn it into torque mode, we get 2,000 newton meters at 32 rads, which means it can then do the other two stages, which are torque stage one and stage four. So if we look at the machine, we'll just type in here to get rid of the NEI. Uh, as you can see, we've got power to do the first stage, power to do the second stage, and torque to do the third stage. However, stage two and three, we don't have the speed, but we do have the power, which means um, if you've got the power, you can always gearbox to get the correct speeds and torque. As you can see, we've got enough torque, but not enough speed in the two and three. So if we get out of that, shift right click on our gearbox, which is a 16 times gearbox. You can see now we've got uh, enough torque to do the first, uh, the second and third stage, but not first or fourth. So if you build four steam engines, Connect up with shaft junctions and get yourself a 16 gearbox. Uh, you can uh, run a grinder or an extractor fairly easy and fairly simply and get yourself that five and seven times output. Just remember when you put something in here, say a diamond ore, it won't run because it's missing the first stage. Shift click and it will start processing the first stage. It will be a little bit slow, however, 
uh, this setup here will get you uh, get it the ball rolling you can say uh, until you start putting things on like uh, micro turbines or jet engines um, or hydrokinetic engines whatever kind of power source you want to do later on to uh, increase the speed of this however it is the, I think the easiest way to get these two things running and I think that's really it for today's guys uh, today's video <laughs> If you got any uh, questions or suggestions, let me know. If you like it, hit the like button, of course. If you want to see more of this stuff, uh, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys.